Here is a case in which we see a chest x-ray. Uh, perhaps we can't see it close enough to uh, understand all the fine details which a radiologist might have the advantage of looking at. But what we probably can uh, pick up is the fact that the lungs are generally a little bit denser than normal. They're not quite as uh, open and aerated as you would expect to see. Perhaps it would uh, appear that these lungs could very easily be very acutely uh, congested. In addition, if we had the advantage of actually looking at these lungs, we could see that lungs generally should be like sponges. When you squeeze them, when you feel them, you should feel little bubbles. We don't see too much by way of uh, bubbles here. What we do see is generally uh, watery fluid seeping, oozing onto the cut surface of the scissors or knife or whatever this is. Microscopically, if we were to look at this uh, part of the lung, represented by generally increased densities on chest x-ray, x -ray, we will see that the alveoli are generally filled with fluid. The fluid pretty much looks like water, perhaps proteinaceous um, water uh, would be a better term. And that's why the lungs are not as uh, aerated as they should be, either radiologically or grossly. And that's because the alveoli are filled with fluid. Not only are the alveoli filled with fluid, but the alveolar septae are also tremendously congested. Do you remember the last case we saw of passive congestion of the lung? We saw tremendous numbers of increased uh, capillaries within the septae showing congested red cells. Well, if that was severe enough, the fluid would leak out into these alveoli. And this fluid is acute pulmonary edema. Even though acute pulmonary edema can occur through a variety of methods, a very, very acute sudden heart failure would be the most common reason. And especially if it was left-sided acute failure in which you have very significant backup of fluid into the lungs and to the uh, alveolar capillaries and then oozing out of the fluid within the uh, alveolar spaces. Acute alveol uh, pulmonary edema is very, very often seen with very acute uh, deaths. Thank you very much.